morning. It's uh, Thursday morning, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm running on about 10% energy. <laughs> and I've got so many jobs to do. And we've had so much rain, so much rain over the last few days. And there's forecast to rain on and off for the next two weeks. So yeah, properly up against it. Um, yeah, normally I would uh, do a little bit of a video showing what I've been up to and um, you know, just, just give you a bit of an idea of what I've been doing. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do it a little bit different today. Uh, I've got a ton of things to do. I'm gonna try and get as many of them in this video as I can. And uh, we'll see how we go. Uh, first things first, I need to try while it's not raining and there's a tiny little bit of blue sky Although, there are clouds around and it's forecast to rain about 11 o'clock. Um, I need to give this um, lawn a trim. Um, and, uh, yeah, do you remember a few weeks ago, I was trying to get some grass seed to grow over here and someone suggested I put straw down and the birds kept coming down. So um, I think I'll get this area a bit tidied up and we'll see how successful the, um, the grass seed has been. Actually, talking of grass seed, I'll just show you uh, what's been going on out the front. Do you remember I uh, I moved the car and I'm creating a new front garden um, and I put some grass seed down out the front. I did that uh, two weeks ago Monday, so two and a half weeks ago. Um, so I'll show you what's been going on. So it started to grow, I'm guessing all the rain's helped, although I did water it when I first put the uh, seed down. Uh, I need to, uh, what I normally do uh, when I do a new, new lawn is go over it with a rake just to break up the surface of the soil again and then reseed it um, until eventually you get a, a proper looking lawn. And uh, that worked quite well in the back, in the back garden. But, um, that's exactly what the uh, back garden looked like while I was uh, trying to get this lot to grow and uh, it looks all right now so I'll just do the same thing so right I need to uh, I need to get busy with the lawnmower before it rains The weather's going to beat me. It's uh, sunshine and showers, and uh, it's not great to, to cut the grass um, when it's so wet. Um, but yeah, especially when you've got the mower set up for mulching the grass. Um, yeah, doves are waiting for their bath this morning, uh, so uh, I better tidy up.
well, that seemed to take forever. Uh, I thought I'd uh, give you a quick look at my uh, disaster that is my seed situation. Um, so the tomatoes do germinate and then they stop. It's just too cold. So I'm in a bit of a situation with the tomatoes. Uh, the melons are still germinating, um, but the weather is rubbish. Lettuce, they need to go in the ground, some of those. Um, I think I'll uh, give up on that celery. So yeah, some of these lettuce are getting a little bit bigger, but um, yeah, the tomato seeds. Do you remember me saying that my neighbour said to me, oh, you won't get, you won't get tomatoes to, uh, you know, to start. And uh, he is 74 and he seems to know this area very well, seems he's lived, lived here all his life. Um, so I'm in a situation, do I spend money on grow lights and heat mats? And because tomatoes to turn into little plants, apparently need temperatures like over 75 degrees all of the time. And oh, last night it was nine degrees overnight. So being out here, they haven't really got a chance. So yeah, do I spend money on that or do I go out and buy little tomato plants that are already started and growing healthily? I think I'm going to have to do some of that if I want tomatoes this year because I don't think um, I don't think I'm going to be able to. I don't think I'm going to be very successful, and we're already like well into May, aren't we? So these three round pots here are sweet peas, and they're doing all right. Um, they were freebies from the sweet pea that I've got in the corner of the garden that was here when I moved here or was here when I bought the house um, and the peony it's typical isn't it when the peony comes into flower and it always looks amazing when it's in flower uh, it starts to rain and it always gets beaten up by the rain um, so in here I've got my nasturtium to go in the ground so there's nine of those I've got my courgettes to go in the ground and they're looking a bit yellow is that are they supposed to look a bit yellow like that look like they've been over watered but I haven't and my beans are ready to go in the ground um, so they're going to go next to or yeah next to that trellis or those two trellis that I built over there they're for my beans uh, not quite sure where the sweet peas are going to go uh, yeah a couple of subscribers said uh, I need a, uh, a trellis in this area somewhere so maybe uh, maybe sweet peas around here somewhere but um, yeah this area here oh dear bane of my life I've been I've been talking about it since I bought the place um, this cool cool box a uh, cold frame cool box a uh, cold frame I don't I'm not I'm having second thoughts about it being there I really want this area to look like garden you know because it's kind of like a little courtyard now you know it's got a it's got the bathroom all there it's got a tall fence at the at the front or at the back as we look and it's got the barn wall there I think if I get all this tidied up it should be like a courtyard you know with a little seating area table and chairs and i think i'll just carry on with grass around the uh, around the sides as much as mowing the lawn is a bit of a chore it's a really cheap lawn and i've only got to mow it i don't know i don't know i haven't got the money to put anything hard standing down and yeah i haven't got the money to do any more slabs and i don't particularly want to do any more slabs i mean it's only me here um, so yeah this this is a, a bit of work on the table there I've got um, sunflowers to go in the ground um, and I'll talk about that tray in a second that there is a butternut squash that someone gave me so that'll be pretty good um, so I need to I need to trim all of that hedge behind uh, the flower bed there and once that's trimmed and tidy I can clear it all up and then um, get my uh, giant sunflowers in there so hopefully I won't need to touch that flower bed again for a while right do you remember me saying I've said it about 20 times I'm sure there's people out there remember me talking about valerian and me trying to get them going and I opened a third pack of seeds and I was getting all excited because there was some uh, you know there was some germination going on well that soil that's in that tray used to be my first lot of tomato seeds all I did was take the soil because all the tomato seeds had kind of gone dormant or you know were stunted so I put all the soil back in a bucket mixed it all up poured some into that tray and then put my valerian seeds on the top so that's not valerian that's little tomato seeds that have popped up 
I can, man, I can get tomatoes to grow about an inch tall, but any more than that. And um, yeah, so no tomatoes and no valerian still. What, what a pain. Uh, my cabbages are a total failure. Uh, I've given up on the cabbages, so I'm going to have to um, re-sow those. And my flocks, well, they've they've just stunted as well, so they're a bit of a waste of time. So, yeah, I'm in a situation really where I could do with a little greenhouse. I'm in a pickle, really. I'm probably going to have to have a little greenhouse if I'm going to if I'm going to play this little game. Um, and do I buy some grow lights and heat mats so I can get tomatoes going? So, yeah. I'm not sure. So anyway, I'm going to grab, uh, I'm going to grab some carrots and go down and say hello to Dave. So quickly, just before I go down and see Dave, I've got to show you these. A um, bit of good news in the garden. So do you remember I tidied up this pear tree, which is a nashi pear tree, um, and it was covered in blossom. Now, can you see? Can you see these? It's covered in little pears. There's loads of them. Oh, it will be absolutely awesome to actually have some success. I'm thinking I'm gonna have some failure in the garden, but I've got a feeling I might have, because of all this rain, and there wasn't snow over winter, and there were no late frosts, um, that, yeah, maybe, there's quite a few actually, maybe there'll be a lot of fruit around this year so not only that do you remember I bought a couple of trees I bought a, uh, a golden delicious apple tree well that's that's there that's not doing much or that has come into fl uh, coming to leaf and it's in reasonable health by the look of it uh, might get a few flowers on it but um, I bought a nectarine do you remember me buying a nectarine it's the first tree that I put in and that was in flower when I bought it. Look, it's absolutely covered in fruit. How cool is that? See, little things like that. Little things like that put a smile on my face. And uh, yeah, I've got something else to show you as well in the orchard. So the grass in the uh, grass in the orchard needs cutting as well. Um, yeah, I do have quite a lot of grass, and the uh, the chicken run needs uh, strimming and mowing as well. But look down here. So the other day, I put my grapevine back in the ground. Look at it now; it's doing really well. I'd, uh, I kind of thought it had died, so I dug it up, gave it a bit of a bath and a bit of a rest for a couple of weeks and uh, yeah put it back in the ground away from any concrete and uh, how cool is that bit of good news here's some more good news um, not quite sure if I'm gonna be able to show you on this tree but oh I can hear a hoopoe in the background is that how you pronounce it um, yeah I can't show you on these I've got three apple trees here but I've got a feeling I am gonna get some apples off of these trees um, but I've got a huge cherry tree here absolutely ridiculous it's 20 feet tall at least and I've never seen a cherry on it and well I've got to show you this I've got to show you this there are can you see there are cherries all over it So, yeah, that is, uh, hopefully they're in focus. Camera does struggle in low light. How cool is that? I don't even think I like cherries, but you know, it's good to be able to grow, th grow things, isn't it? So, um, uh, I've only got one bar left on my battery. I might have to put a new one in. Um, I came down with a strimmer yesterday afternoon. I was absolutely shattered. It's been a hectic couple of days. So the other day I did my first um, gardening job, which went well. That was quite a, a long day, actually. It was longer than um, longer than I expected it to be. Um, but, you know, it was fruitful. And uh, I think I earned, more, I earned more in one day 
than uh, YouTube pays me in a month. So make of that what you will. Uh, and the following day I did my volunteering, which uh, which was okay. Quite enjoyed my volunteering. Love uh, love being around people, doing a you know a bit of good. Um, so yeah, yesterday absolutely shattered. So I tried to do nothing. Um, but yeah, when I'm doing nothing, I just get itchy feet. So yesterday afternoon I came out and I strimmed the rest of the buttercups and uh, yeah, just did a bit in the field really. And I went all the way down the side, all the way down the side of the field with the strimmer. I just got to keep on top of it. But um, yeah, absolutely shattered. I can see a little nose point poking out there. Morning, David. Are you well? How are you doing? How's it going? Say hello to everyone. Got a couple of carrots for you. What are you doing? You just threw your carrot in the air, your fruitcake. I'll come and clean your eye in a minute. We've had so much rain, so much rain. Your bucket is full up. So Dave's field is about two foot high now, which is, um, which is not good. I did have someone tell me um, how hardy Shetland ponies are. I know they're hardy, um, but I still felt the need to um, build him a shelter because when the sun comes out, it's absolutely brutal. And uh, yeah, in, in the summer here, temperatures range from like 32 to 42 degrees. And uh, yeah, Shetland ponies kind of designed for Scotland, aren't they? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, plus it's just nice, isn't it? I mean, he's 28, 29 years old. It's nice to give him a bit of shelter, isn't it? So yeah, just show you what I've been up to. In the field, lots of strimming. I did run down the mower, just so I can walk down without getting my knees wet. Um, but yeah, Dave's field's just overgrown. So what I did, I didn't show you this, what I did last week, one afternoon, was uh, get the mower out and mow some of my uh, bottom paddock. You know, the paddock with the onions in it. Um, so I'll just show you what I did. So uh, I actually came down with my mower and mowed half of this paddock um, because yeah, Dave was, he had his grass. I mean, even, even over there, it's still like 18 inches tall buttercups. Um, but yeah, I mowed this just so, uh, just so Dave could, uh, you know, have a bit of grass without getting completely soaking wet because it has just not stopped raining. Um, right, I've got to talk to you. So I did, I did a bit of um, looking at my analytics on my YouTube analytics page. And um, by about now, near the end of my video, loads of people have stopped watching. Only my uh, loyal subscribers and those that are really interested in what I'm up to stay this long. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I thought right at the end, I'm just gonna have a little chat. Um, so yeah, I've been pretty shattered this week. And when I got home from volunteering on Tuesday, um, I came I came out into the field and I had a little look round and I was like oh, I've bitten off more than I could chew I really I, I, I've just you know I'm trying to start a business so what I've got I've got a house that I need to renovate I've got three acres of farmland that I need to do something with I'd like to get some animals which I'm glad I haven't yet not even a cat or a dog um, and I want to do my volunteering because it's good to do volunteering and I've always done it um, and I want to start a business and yeah i sat down tuesday evening and or i was out here tuesday evening wandering around going you've bitten off more than you can chew because when i got home shattered from work i had to cook my dinner i was like oh my god and then yesterday when i wanted to do nothing i had to clean the house and i was like you, you can't do all this you can't do all this so i put, my, put myself in a situation where um yeah i'm kind of exhausted and i haven't even got a a chicken you know a pet chicken yet so uh yeah i kind of got a bit kind of got a bit down really thinking oh my god have you got the energy for this because like this morning i was running on empty thinking right you've got to mow the lawn you've got to do this you've got to do that you need to get them plants in the ground and uh you know because the, da the days are just whizzing past this year like i say this year we're half we're nearly halfway through may are we or a third of the way through anyway so yeah i kind of thought to myself yeah, you might want to bail out where you can because the house isn't finished um there's not a great deal of money to finish it 
and oh, I don't know I just don't know so I've got a little bit um got a little bit oh, as they say in England it got a bit on top <laughs> it's a bit of a, an expression that we have in the UK uh yeah things were getting a little bit on top so yeah I've had to uh I've had to do a bit of soul searching and I thought myself do you sell this place what do I buy instead where do I live because I don't think going back to the UK is a, uh, an option for me I think the UK and me are uh, yeah I haven't I haven't made a video about my thoughts on what's happening in uh, in Great Britain maybe I'll save that for another video but yeah yeah just thought I'd put you in the picture because I've, I've not been that well for the last couple of months and uh, yeah it's all getting a bit on top but I'll keep smiling I uh, appreciate everyone's support I've got some amazing subscribers uh, especially the ones that hang around to the end of the video like this like you lot <laughs> right say goodbye all right don't see you later